Good morning, family. Welcome to Mana. I'm going to start calling it Mana because I don't know. It may happen in the morning. It may happen at noonday. It may happen at night. So we're just going to call it Mana because Mana is that provision for, from God, uh, the sustenance that we need when we need it. Uh, nevertheless, this morning, I want to talk from the thought diet, diet. So uh, this is my breakfast. You may be asking, Pastor, what is that? It's a protein shake. Got some avocado, got some protein, got some spinach, some blueberries, some other stuff. Um, why are you? Why? Why is that your breakfast? Well, I've learned long ago that I can't. Uh, no matter how much working out I do, uh, you can't outwork out your diet. Uh, you can't. You can't lift away cakes. You can't lift away pies and I can't speak for anybody else but I've not been eating uh, so wonderfully <laughs> during this lockout a lock-in or quarantine or whatever the case may be and so if I want my body to perform or if I want my body to reflect the effort that I'm putting in I've got to manage my diet here's the point uh, what I put in my body will dictate how my body performs what are you eating? I don't mean the stuff out of the refrigerator. I'm not even mad at you for uh, eating a little bit differently out of the refrigerator. But here's the point. We're going to get out of this house at some point. And when we do, how do you want your body to perform? How do you want your body to look? And, and listen, the truth of the matter is what we eat will reflect how we look. But, but, but that's not really what I'm driving at. What I'm driving at is what is your spirit looking like right now? Are you feeding your spirit the word of God, or are you feeding it MSNBC, NBC, CBS, ABC? Is the only thing you're feeding your psyche, your mind, your emotions, uh, is, it, is it only COVID-19? Because here's the problem. If that's what you're feeding, then, then that's how your body, that's how your spirit is going to perform. But in Ezekiel chapter 3, God tells the prophet, to eat the scroll. He says, I want you to open your mouth and, and eat the scroll. And the text says, uh, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that scroll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Listen, God has given us the word of God that we should eat it. How often should we eat it? Morning, noon, and night. We should meditate it, meditate on it. Morning, noon, and night. And here's the shout. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Here's what, here's what Ezekiel says. He says, it was sweeter than the honey on the honeycomb. When I ate the scroll, when I ate the word of God, it was, it was sweet in my mouth. Yesterday, I made one of these same shakes, and Trey was watching me as I was making it. He looked at me. He said, Dad, what are you doing? This is, that is a hot mess. I said, that's what you say now. And uh, I said, why don't you taste it? He was like, yeah, okay. And so when he tasted it, I saw his eyes begin to light up. He was like, wow, that's a lot better than I thought. As a matter of fact, it's pretty good. Can I have a little more? And I gave him some more. Sometimes we look at the word of God as if, as if it is punitive, as if it is constraining. Um, but really, if you ever get into that word, and begin to let it be a part of your diet. If it becomes the primary source of your diet, you'll find out that it's sweeter than the honey on the honeycomb. I'm done. I just want to talk to you about diet this morning. I want to celebrate uh, for just a moment the women of God of Paramount Baptist Church. Your prayer call happened this morning, and we've got some numbers in, and we, we've, we've been told there were over 100 women on the prayer call this morning. Come on, give God praise. For over a hundred women calling on the name of the Lord in these in these perilous times. We thank Reverend C for her leadership and for all of you who got on the call. That won't be the last time. I'm sure you'll hear more from her on, on that going forward. But I just want to celebrate uh, the morning women uh, calling out onto the name of the Lord. Listen, lastly, I want to tell you that this coming Sunday, this coming Sunday, our broadcast will go on at 10 a.m. as it has been for some time now. Uh, and we're going to have communion. We're going to share communion together. So spread the word. Get you some bread. Get you some juice. 
or whatever you're going to drink. Um, and and uh, let's have communion as a family. Let's come together and be prepared to share uh, the Eucharist together. Let's be prepared to share the bread and the wine as we think on the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope you have a marvelous, marvelous day on this Throwback Thursday. Take good care of yourself. We love you with the love of Christ. Uh, and we're uh, praying for all of you in this season. We love you in Jesus' name. Peace and blessings.